Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeons. Last night there has been an update, and now we've got some new units. Specifically, the one who shall grip Sinclair and the Metal Hammer Don Quixote. And um, I've gotten both of them. I also got the one ego I'm missing, so I now have every identity and ego in the game. Very nice. But uh, yeah, they are very interesting. Tremor nail type unit for the Dawn and low sanity burn unit for the Sinclair. So why don't we just start simple and just do a full five person end court build for today. Um, hmm. There's a lot of loss. This actually might work well here. Yeah, I'll take coffee and greens. And we'll go... We'll go the two new units in Faust for this, I think, to start. And I'll just take whoever I can get along the way. Let me shell grip. You yeah, know, this is really interesting because all three of these um, skills are negative on heads. And they all make him lose SP. Alongside this one's like a stupid amount of burn. Fanatic just buffs him even more than normal. Although, of course, I don't think he can inflict, like... Yeah, he doesn't inflict any nails from anything. No nails. His only bleed infliction is... Yeah, it's only two bleed on his fourth going on the secondary. So, it's this... With this team, it's going to be less about, like, any of the status effects in particular, barring just Fnatic. Uh, recruit space doesn't look too worth it. And yeah, because there's going to be a lot of lust. Um, we're going to get whistles probably plenty, especially on later floors once we actually have four people. And yeah, here they are. Still so cool that we finally got this. This was teased on with, with the launch. And of course... So, I feel like I don't know what to do. I don't know how to manage this guy. Because, I mean, obviously it's like, you got to keep him low sanity. But how low? How do you manage it? The only ways to keep his, like, sanity at, like, a decent level is through the his, um, his guard, which restores 5 to 10 sanity somewhere within that range. I mean, let's click Whistles here. Whistles is your increase of sanity, yeah? Heal two hours with least SP for 15 SP. Yeah. Do I want that, then? Hmm. I don't know. We don't have... Another important thing is, if we get Mad Flame, which just requires two Wrath to be owned, we heal 50% less SP from winning clashes and defeating on Sinclair. <laughs> oh yeah, God. That Sandy might have been a little unfortunate here. He still killed, though. The Fnatic helped a lot. And yeah, all of these guys are dead. Another interesting thing is... The announcers have more lines now. I don't know if it was just bugged before. Or, um... What do I want here? What? Where's the back button? Huh? <laughs> Why is the back button gone? Oh, is it... Is it still there? Is it just invisible? No, I... I you can hear me spam clicking. How did I get out? I should not have came back into this menu. Oh, I gotta, like... Okay, well, I'm not messing with that. I'm gonna take impending day, though. Just because, because we've got Dawn, we've got enough stuff that is used with lust. Depend is slightly less. Either way, it may be smarter to take neither because the possibility of Sinclair going insane is very likely. Um, you guys are weak to slash. We have no slash. There's this pierce though, so we'll just stick to the blunt.
stagger that guy. The other guy is not staggered quite yet. He will be soon. Oh, he's got too high sanity, doesn't he? But if I defend his sanity, he'll be even higher. So I think I just got to have him lose the clashes. I think that's the best strategy here. Yeah, he won't take too much damage. He might be weak to slash, but it's not going to be that bad. Oh no, he's still winning clashes. Never mind. Oh yeah, I guess it's because he lost San he lost ten city when he played that skill. So I guess that helped. Definitely, I guess based on that logic, most of the time he's gonna have better chances of winning clashes than it displays. Because almost every time we'll just he'll have slightly less sandy than it starts. So that's not a, considering stuff like whistles though. Yeah, he... Like, self-destructive purge is gonna do, like, nothing here. But he'll lose 15 SP immediately. Hmm. Oh, if I use both of these, I'll have enough wrath to have the amount he gets from Clashes next turn. It works well. Okay. Yeah, unfortunate. He lost some Sandy from that, though. And we've got the Wrath. Uh... We've got Coffee and Cranes, too. And we've got enough Lust to be able to trigger it frequently enough. Yeah, there we go. So he'll lost of Sandy. I, just, I don't know how much exactly you get from kills. I don't think it displays, usually. I'm sure it's easy enough to figure it out. How much you get from winning clashes and from... Nail because why not? And another fight. Well, it very well could have been useful to go to the recruit space on the first floor because it may be a while before we get another one. At the same time, I'd also be trading effectively two level up for it because I'd also take a heal space. The dominating, interesting. But this will lose more sanity. I think that's worth it, honestly. He got hit a couple times. No? Two heads and it still killed that guy. <laughs> As you do. And there's still one more guy, right? Because there's four people? Yes. I guess. I'm gonna have him use his ego here, I think. Just because that'll make him lose a bunch more sanity from the cost. I guess also for that purpose, we could purposefully overclock his egos. Then, because that increases the amount of sanity lost on using by 50%, and it's what, 20 base? So we can increase it to 30 at the cost of hitting an ally, possibly. This could be fine. So much to think about. I'm I'm loving this so far. I've I've barely used them so far. I wanted to save it for this. It's just so Could go for a little bit of a lust chain here. It won't help us too much. But at the same time, I don't really want to use enactment because these guys resist blunt, so might as well. Okay, he's losing his clashes. Like, even if you get all heads on um, his funny secondary, that's still really good because it effectively just becomes, what, a 12 8 4 0. And for a secondary, that's not- that's definitely not bad. Okay, I don't really have too many choices here. That's fine, he's gonna get a kill. Hopefully that won't be too much of a sanity booster for him. Yeah, 
He healed 10 sanity from that wizard? Did it say that? It might have. <laughs> Dawn is insane. It's so awesome. 36. Okay, for testing purpose, I'm going to have him use... So, he's at 36. He's going to lose 15, so he's going to be at 21. So, whatever he... So, this kill should be... If I am right in that it is 20 base, but it's been half to 10, then he should be at 31 sanity here. Super version. I will take that. And we'll take Brody on here. I think she, her end corpse honestly better than Mersault's. Although they're both, like, decent. 21. He gained none from kill. Huh. Now, why is that, uh... I think I gotta go for the recruit space, because there's a very high chance... Because I'm pretty sure, statistically, there's not going to be another recruit space on the next floor. But yeah, interesting. Is it supposed- is it because it was ended the fight? Would it have- if it had been anyone else, would it have been something different? I guess I'll just try and like mentally keep track of his sanity, see how it goes. So, to lose 10, so he'll be at 11 effectively, and we can trigger whistles immediately here. Oh yeah, I guess that means it's gonna hit these two. It'll be 11 and plus 15, so it'll be 26, and then whatever changes from the class. So we lost one, one one. One one, one one. He's at max. Okay. So after a losing three wins, he went from twenty six to max. So is it plus ten minus ten? That feels like a lot. It might just be plus five minus ten. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Questions, questions. Oh. Nice. Strike was effective, true. And, um... Like bleed. Bleed could be nice. With nail. I mean, it could be nice, but at the same time, I think this just is best for us here. Just because a bunch more. We've got a fair bit of sloth, probably. Maybe. Do we even have any sloth? We don't have any sloth, do we? I'm getting confused. The Mer Mersault has sloth, doesn't he? And he's the only one. Ooh, the moth. This could be very nice. Yeah, we've got no sloth. We've got everything but sloth. So, I, I mean, it's still 10% more damage to stagger people, which is a pretty notable increase. Allows us to just execute people more efficiently. Yeah, I'll go for the saver option here. I'll do this, just so... I can build up lust to possibly whistle next turn. It still is so strange trying to, like, wrap my head around a unit who wants bad results. I'm sure the wrestle's there, sure. Okay, wait. I was curious about a passive, but yeah. It means... So Dawn's passive, whenever the target is nails, inflict plus one tremor count. This does. This means anytime she inflicts tremor while the target is nailed, she'll inflict plus one tremor count. Because she just did inflict one tremor, inflict one tremor, and it became inflict one tremor, one count, inflict one tremor, one count. Hmm. Good stuff to know. I don't even know if that doing this equals out. Strike was effective. Good. Stay focused. Thank you. Like, does losing it at 15 SP, does it... So much, like, mental math you need to do, but, like, it doesn't even make sense. At least from my perspective, because I don't know the value. 
We need like another video that like just goes super in depth into it. Like the one that's if you've seen that one video going like super in depth into gaining emotion in Ruina, the one that's it's a kind of a joke one. It's from Vishnia, however you say their username. But um, it's it's super informative. It goes super in depth into how like all the emotion level stuff works in Ruina. If someone did something like that for Sandy, Sandy would be really nice. But I think a lot of people don't know that yet. It's the issue. Sure. That'll work. Okay, yeah. Taking, he's gaining less sanity now. Thanks to his passive. <laughs> God. The Dawn is just so funny. On top of the whole, like, small person in, like, giant suit of armor type thing it's going for, like, she's, she just sounds insane. Probably because she is insane, especially this version. I'll take a person. Okay, I'll take Mersault then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I insulted you. Will you please, please forgive me, Mersault. And yeah, just take a fight. Well, you're, st you're still being benched, but um, you might get used. If we get Heathcliff here, I think I'll use Heathcliff over Mersault because Heathcliff has lust. And Whistles is funny. Hmm. I'll go for this, because it looks like... Yeah, we'll definitely be able to get Whistles off next turn. Oh, yep. He lost Clashes there, so he's he's not going to be too happy. <laughs> Giant Hammer. What was it not? Did I misinterpret that? I think I misinterpreted that. Oh well, that's fine. He's at negative 11 Xanity, though, so he's going down. And that's progress. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Not even like it, uh... Too bad, really. Right, I'm back. Uh, don't worry about that. Yeah, we can get Whistles off again here. I will buy the Sandy, though. Or we could... He's going to be a minimum of Sandy, but it won't matter if we finish it off here, I think. And I'm going to go for the execution here, just as so it's not... We don't trigger whistles, so that he's, like, going to be, like, incredibly clinically depressed at the start of the next, um, fight. It didn't give the warning, so he might actually not be a negative 45. Yeah, he doesn't have the warning status effect. So he's not quite there, I guess. I guess that makes sense. It would be 20 minus 30. He was at like... He was at negative 16, wasn't he? So it should be enough. Unless it's maybe not. For whatever reason. Oh, he healed 10 SP there. Oh, because she killed with execution. That would do it. Because that heals 10 SP to everyone. He's at negative 24, though. So that's, that's, that's good enough. For our purposes, I feel. Keep on getting interrupted. Oh well. But yeah, now we can go into the second floor boss with Santa Claire at negative 24 sanity, which is pretty low. Means he could corrode here if I'm not careful. Oh, it's these guys, alright. Okay, this is getting a little bit comical, but uh, probably no more interruptions from here on. Hopefully I can just do this. Apologies for the amount of jump cuts in this video. I really thought... I didn't expect there to be so much interruptions, but it's it's all fine, really. I probably just there. 
Dawn's gonna like not. Dawn's not doing much here. And their single coin attack. Really, I'm mean, gripping's gonna stagger, so Dawn will kill this one. Death, God. There was only two coins and still utterly annihilated that one. Yeah, these guys die instantly. They're they're a little weak. <laughs> okay. Well, the butterfly finished it off, so um, good enough, I guess. I'll take it. Mm, run out of stick damage. Blunt deals SP damage. I don't think SP damage matters like at all. I'll take the Phantom Pain. Yeah, nothing good here. I'll just take up. Take reindeer just because that's who I used to pair the Encore people with before we had a full Encore team. I'm not going to use her, but she can she can watch. I don't remember what her support passive is. It probably doesn't matter though. The recruit so there. I don't really have much choice if I want to go for the recruit. I just got to go like that, and I can do go like that. That should work. Looks like a solid enough plan of action. Our route to success. Okay, simple enough. Can't get whispers off. We can get close. Self destructive purge is gonna do a lot here, I think. Hopefully, because I mean, he's gonna lose 15 SP, so he's gonna be almost minimum. Execution. Does execution kill? I don't think so. I think that's fine to go for. And that should cover it. Yeah, that kills, though. I was expecting that. Now, why did that do stagger damage? Is it, was it just a bug? So, the two right. It did, like, 40 stagger damage. Like, stagger damage equal to the amount of damage it actually did or something? Hmm. Very odd. I think it's just some weird visual display issue, though. Most likely. He negative 36. Yeah, he's in a good spot still. I guess I should say he's in a bad spot, but um, that's what we want. And that should do it. Not really too much worry here. They're all dying. That's a fact. And there you go. Use your enactment hammer. Yeah, that, yeah like that little like tremor burst type thing showed... For Sinclair's Tertiary, which is odd, because I don't think it's got any effect. Oh no, it was Self. That would do it. It's because it. Half of the damage dealt gets turned into lowering his own stagger resist. That does it. Never mind my confusion. A little odd that it looks like near identical, though. Oh well. Negative 38 sanity? Or 36? Couldn't see the number exactly, but. You get the gist, I'm sure. Okay, let's see. Um, can't try your whistles here, although whistles might be nice here. I think this is going to be a, a part where he goes a little insane. Hopefully it's fine, though. Okay. He won a lot of clashes there. It might have been enough to balance him. Mm, it wasn't. Hmm. Well, execution will heal him some sanity. And, uh, he's... Yeah, he can go for Faust. Faust can take it. Because Faust resists Blunt. He's that's kind of the bad thing about using Impending Day especially. Because of the fact that most Encore people, except for Sinclair and Faust, are weak to Blunt. You can withstand it, though. Just barely didn't get staggered. Not like it makes too much of a difference here. Because we've still got the lead by a pretty notable margin here. He enjoys it so much. Open the butterfly, finish it off. What's the sanity? Zero? Yeah, it gets reset to zero after they recover. That's a right. little unfortunate. All fine, though. 
We can pretty quickly get him back to low Sandy by just popping an ego quickly, I think. Pride, and pride to this. That'll be a, a little bit of healing thing. Can always be nice. Faust is pretty low right now. Oh yeah, I guess for an another SB recovery thing we do have is Faust's fluid sack. Is that um heals everyone for like 10, 15 SP? Yeah, 10 SP. I think it's 15 if I actually uptied it. Which I really should. It's a good enough one that I think it warrants being uptied. The enactment that um sell to start purge, he's or I could just do this. I'll just do this, honestly. Get his Sandy a little bit lower. This should bring him to negative 20, then just the Clash winning, so it'll be a little bit above that. This won't kill or anything, though. Most certainly not. Decently close, though. Would have been kind of nice if it killed. Because then it heals everyone. We don't really need it, though. Everyone's getting healed fine as it is. Okay, everyone's winning classic except for Mersault, so basically the standard. Okay, only negative two, really. Hmm. Ouch. Alright. And the perversion triggered, so he just got a bunch of wrath right there. Which is really nice because it means the next fight we're going to start with a bunch of wrath, which means his passive will be available from the beginning. So he's not going to gain a lot of sanity from flash mining and killing. Yeah, 15. Let's do it again, honestly. Yeah, let's let's make it unstable, honestly. Could be beneficial, really. Yeah, Mersault's not going to kill. But you know who will kill? Sinclair. Over block. No, we have the strength buff, which does nothing for us. But it'll kill, so it heals and perversion triggers again. This guy, he resists the pierce, but it'll still be enough to kill him in the end, yeah. Which means we can amass a bunch of resources. Shame there's still like two or three fights before we get to the end. The resources aren't really being conserved right now, exactly. Bleed? Yeah. Blunt power-up could have been really nice, too. Okay, only one more fight, really. So not bad, not bad. Center power-up. Everyone's 20, so we can bring our... Starting 3 up to 25 here. That's probably the best play. An event, let's see what we get. Hmm. This helps Faust a fair bit, I think. And we've got some pride, not a lot. But some. And then I, I don't look right. Yeah, Late Bloomer's tattoo. Cool. And so this is the final one before the boss, so this is where we're going to want to conserve as many resources as we can. Or I'm definitely going to spend it for, like, the impending days, because impending day pays for its... Mm, impending day might not be good here, after all. These guys are not going to take a lot of blunt damage. I guess the Ting Tang guys will. So that could be a move. Okay. All right. Topple damage. Yeah, how, how much did Sinclair's stagger resist change from that? Not a lot, really. Raise stagger. Wait, does oh raise does that mean he's close? Oh, that means he's closer to being staggered, doesn't he? Yeah, because this is lower. That would do it. So he's doing stagger damage himself effectively. Okay, I misinterpreted that because the whole the whole raise slash lower is a little bit strange because like which what which way is up and which way is down? If you understand my meaning. This might actually be a good time for this one. Hmm. 
Tenacity trigger. I forget what that does. This. Hmm. Not enough to kill, unfortunately. One of our other attacks is probably just gonna randomly kill him instead. If he's low enough that any attack will kill the Ting Tang guy. Oh no, going for the actual boss. Okay, I guess none of them are going for that guy. So maybe if we're lucky, Sinclair will be able to finish him off this turn. No. Sinclair is not going to be able to do that. And yeah, that'll work. If Sinclair gets like any kills though, that could be nice. Nessie's probably affecting the lowest sanity person, if I had to guess. Sinclair got a kill though, so he just got a bunch of lost resources, which is also very nice to have. Just him left, so we can just have Sinclair finish him. Yeah, Tenacity, one of the low SP deals, 10% blood damage. Oh, this was actually a, a, a good pick. I wasn't expecting it to be, but it is. Do that so he doesn't heal, get the SP healing. Shh. And the attack's not gonna go off, so might as well. <laughs> nice. And we've got enough gloom that it's triggering that passive from Ishmael fairly often. It's a 10%, which isn't the most. Rider Pierce, Gain Pierce, we've got a lot of Pierce. That's the only good thing here, I think. He did negative 45 to start, which should be fine, because he can get better. Especially if we can manage to get Whistle first turn, which is mm, not too likely, because we'd need everyone except for Mersault to have their lust skills. He's not, he's not, he doesn't seem too happy right now. Maybe we have him guard for his turn. Yeah, I think that's fair. No need to do much against the first phase of this guy anyways. He's weak to Wrath though, so we, he's all, gonna take, he's weak to Wrath and he's weak to Blunt. So these are gonna do stupid amount of damage to him. Yeah. No, that was the weak one. We've got some pretty strong attacks coming in. Oh, yeah, this just staggers. Now, does Dawn just break the body? I don't think so, no. Not quite enough. Let's just have people go for, like, whatever attacks, really. Will this be... He'll lose seven Sandy. He'll be, like, at the brink of despair, but he'll still be okay, I think. Assuming I didn't misinterpret something somewhere. Which I might have. Always a possibility. Not showing the symbol, but... It, oh, he got the fanatic, though. That's gonna be big. The birth. Because why not? Okay, oh, this is going to be a little big, I think. And let's have someone else redirect it so that he doesn't actually clash there. I think that's a good play. So are you in fourth match playing that? Ah, no, no reason to. Can we get? No. And everyone else is just going to focus on clashing and winning clashes and the like. You do this just to weaken him, just in case. He's gonna get- he's g going to be... You know what? Yeah, go for that, why not, honestly. How's this gonna go? Okay! That was a lot, and that wasn't even three tails. Which is the scariest part of that. Jeez. I think he goes insane, though. Which is sad to see, but it's fine. The apple might just die, actually. Okay. Are we are we going to just just one turn the second phase of this? Mm, I actually don't know. I don't know if this kills. If it was attacking the head, it would 
certainly kill, I think. This is weak to blunt though, so it might still be enough. It's not enough. He's gonna barely survive. And there's a decent chance that we get a corrosion here. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> 145 damage from it. And he sure did corrode last second, but uh, yeah. God, this unit is fine. You really need to micromanage him. To, like, in order to maximize his potential, I guess. But we also, like, took, like, almost no damage that run, these. Yeah, we got some stuff that definitely helped us, too. That butterfly damage was insane. 145. And that just killed it. True. I don't know why I stopped to listen to that. I just, I just felt the need to not interrupt her. Um, yeah, I'm sold out of all the ego, but, like, honestly, I might as well still do my dailies for Thread. There's, like, nothing on the line, though. It's just, oh, am I gonna get a lot- am, am I gonna get no Thread or many Thread? Or, why am I saying Thread? No, Ego Shard. Which, I guess, can be converted to Thread. Yeah, very interesting, because right now we've got four banners active. Not something you see too often. Sure. It looks like we're not going to get anything special here, which is fine. Two stars. It's probably going to be Dawn then. Yep. I'll take the Dawn stuff. Yeah, we've got a fair bit. I like Dawn. Dawn's funny. So, might as well get stuff for her. We've got a fair bit of Mersault and Heath too, 2, just because I think I've never purchased anything for them. Because I've either gotten, I've gotten lucky with their three stars and egos and whatnot. But yeah, that'll be all for this time, I think. God. This is this is fun. This uh, may be my new favorite unit. I don't know what my current favorite unit is or before that, but yeah. Oh. Thank you for watching. Um, this is an awesome update. See ya. And uh yeah. Bye.